Guys, both the city and county have said they're taking a stricter approach towards COVID-19 enforcement. ABC 7's Michael, Michael Gordon has some of the latest numbers from over the holiday, Halloween weekend. He joins us live now. Michael, do you get the sense that the number of calls about potential COVID rule violations is going up? Yeah, well, you know, Eric, while the city itself is still processing their specific weekend citation numbers, we do know that the sheriff's department received about 50 calls for COVID-related service, and that was just requests that they got from outside of the city. We did issue eight citations for violations of the order. Uh, these were several parties that were taking place. Uh, you know, we, we didn't issue any mask uh, uh, violations at this time. We did issue warnings. Commander Urrutia added that he and his deputies currently don't have the resources to keep up with all the COVID violations taking place within the city. The large amount of uh, businesses that are not adhering to the order, this would pretty much take a majority of the, the units out of service and place them in responding to within the city which would leave the outlining communities without law enforcement services. Meanwhile, El Paso did have some backup as a group of agents from the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission arrived to help with city enforcement. And we have that expertise and we have that ability to go into these businesses. And over the years, we've also developed a good working relationship with a number of these businesses who understand what the requirements are. TABC agents did 427 inspections over the course of that Halloween weekend. Anytime we received a complaint about a potential business from local law enforcement or code enforcement there in El Paso. That allows our agents to immediately begin our own investigations. During that time, they say they found 10 businesses in violation of COVID safety rules, handing out eight written warnings and two 30-day business license suspensions. They said the businesses that received warnings included Tacos, Don Coco, and the El Chuco cigar store. All right, now, guys, I also spoke with Ron Patterson. He's the owner of the Tortuga Sports Lounge, and he told me that he's one of those two businesses that got slapped with one of those 30-day business license suspensions. I talked to him a little bit about the circumstances, which he called, quote, unfair and, quote, ticky-tack calls. Guys? Okay, Michael. And